Okay, today I would like to demonstrate the DSLR cooler I made for astrophotography. As you see here, the cooler is now mounted to the back of my Canon T3i camera with rubber bands. And as you see, as long as you don't shake the system like crazy, it's just gonna stay in place. All right, so now let's turn the system on. To turn on the system, you will need a 12 volt battery and a cable, which will come in the package. So let's plug it in. So as you see here, the ambient temperature is 23 Celsius. And now the temperature of the cooling plate is now at uh, minus 5.5. It's getting close to minus six. It keeps dropping. Getting close to minus 10. Now we are at uh, 33 degrees beneath the frozen point. Minus 11. Minus 12. As you see, the cooler itself doesn't make much noise. And you can probably he hear my uh, freezer's noise, which is uh, louder than the cooler itself. And the system doesn't vibrate at all. And now it's uh, getting close to its equilibrium point, uh, which is about uh, 37 degrees beneath the ice point. Let's uh, have a look at it. Let's check the cooling plate. We can see it's getting white. Some frost is building on the cooling plate. The temperature keeps dropping. It's now at uh, minus 15, which is uh, 38 degrees beneath the ambient. So as long as you have a battery that is big enough, we can keep the system running overnight without an issue. So personally, I use a uh, 100 amp hour battery, uh, which works pretty fine for me. Now it's, uh, it's 39 degrees beneath the ambient. It's getting close to 40. So usually what I do is I let the system running for for 15 minutes before I start taking any photos so the system will get enough time to cool down and get stable and since I'm testing it indoor our ambient temperature is pretty high it's now 23 Celsius if you go outside it's usually 
15 ish or maybe lower like 10 so if your ambient is is 10 celsius the the temperature of the cooling plate can can get uh, much cooler than now it can get to around uh, minus 20 something which is uh, pretty good for the DSLR to take photos without uh, heat or heat noise so now it's uh, it's 40 degrees beneath the uh, the ambient uh, I to be honest uh, I see uh, these coolers varies from 30 33 to 40 degrees beneath the ambient uh, I think uh, it depends on the on the parts and and the build but basically it's it can cool the system to more than 30 degrees lower than the ambient okay so uh, when we get to the end of our uh, photography routine uh, we simply unplug the system like this and then the cooler is off then we can take the take the camera off the telescope so that's it thank you